introduction. And you don't know this is Charlie Rowe. This is the top dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So introduce yourself, man. Let the world I'll, know who uh, you are, man. Man, I grew up in Port Arthur, Texas. I'm uh, 23 years old. I uh, work full time uh, with a job and then I do rapping on the side and I consider myself a hard working artist because you know I put my whole heart and everything uh, that I do and you know I want people to take me serious and I try and uh, just have fun with it and uh, try and turn up and uh, represent for all of Southeast Texas. And I'm not claiming I'm like the best or nothing like that you know I'm, uh, I'm just having yeah, fun like I said and I'm trying to make yeah I'm very humble I'm very yeah. uh, respectful type of guy. How did you get into music? Uh, it happened to be when I was uh, 15 years old, hanging with uh, one of my homies, and uh, he always freestyled. He was about that life I was, and he got yeah. me into rapping. And I remember the first day he was like, "Come on, freestyle, freestyle!" And uh, I remember my first freestyles; they were like whack. And you know, still now, you know, freestyling, you know, unless you have written, freestyling is hard sometimes because you're coming straight off the dome, and you know, it, it's real and. Well, he got me into rapping, and ever since I was 15, I've been, you know, spitting, writing. I got like big stack of notebook of verses, and uh, and I had quit for a while. You know, I made a lot of um, songs in the closet. You know, you yeah, know, like every uh, everybody does. And then I, I quit rapping for a little bit, and then I just recently got back into it around maybe December, January. Started getting real serious with it. Started putting money that I had to studio time to anything I could, and trying to make connections and. It's always you know, good you invest in your crap. Yeah, it's all the work that you Yeah, that, to me, there's different types of uh, rappers and artists. You know, there yeah. there may be uh, some that they're out there. You know, they're it's a job for them. They're doing it, and then there's some out there that they, they just have a gift for rapping. They're good at it, or like me, I I just I know uh, that's why I call myself the most hated, most recognized artist because a lot of people don't understand me. They don't probably, you know, get where I'm coming from and why I do music and all this, but I do it because it, I like it and yeah. I jam my music and it makes me smile and, hey, and I'm gonna keep at it and everything. Hey, so. if you're not a fan of yourself, who will be, right? Right, yeah, yeah. I'm that's my number real. one fan. My so biggest far. influence, uh, well, the type, I remember when I was, uh, let's see, riding on the bus to uh, elementary, my first uh, CD, I think, was like a Nelly CD and I listened to Kid Rock, yeah. I go back. Most people don't ever speak of that really went hard back in the day. Right. And I was like, man, LL Cool J and Nelly. You yeah, know? I'm not afraid to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I started with all them. Uh, let's see, Eminem, of course. All that was back when I was younger. That first got me into rap. And then, uh, then as I got in my teenager, I really banged H Town a lot, yeah. like Zero, Fat Pat. Yeah. So I started with Texas rap. I, I used to listen to a lot of Chameleon Air. He, man, I love Chameleon Air. New generation of rappers are my influence. You know, uh, really? every yeah. That's interesting. And if you listen to my style of rap, I don't yeah. rap like uh, you know, like a Houston person or like. Uh, Jay Z or any type of rapper like that, I yeah. rap more like a new style type of uh, rap and actually take time with my bars and sometimes melodic and everything. Yeah, I mean, you gotta respect you everybody's know, hustle. I respect the, yeah, I'm gonna say I respect the hustle. They find a way to make it. You if know, you notice, so. man, there's a lot of hate in this world, a lot of hate in this area, a lot of hate everywhere around the world, and it's messed up. Like, yeah, there's a lot of probably artists out there that probably, you know aren't as good as another artist, but like I said, it all comes down to there's different types of rappers, different types of artists. Not every artist is gonna rap the same or talk yeah. about this. And they'll be born. Right. They'll be born. That, 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 that. All these young rappers, we're, we're doing what we want, we're doing what we love, we're gonna do what we want to do, and a lot of people aren't gonna understand it, but yeah, we're, the new, we're the new age of rap. What's your latest project that you have out? Oh, uh, my latest project is... Uh, working on. It's uh, called Young Thug. I put it out maybe, I think maybe a week or two ago or something like that. And uh -huh. yeah, I think I think every piece I put out is better than the last. But every time I put out something, I'm like, man, I love it, I love it. I, this is my favorite. And then I go hit the studio or I write something like, oh, this is my favorite. So right now I'm really rocking with a Young Thug song I just yeah. put out. And a lot of people are thinking, man, why did I name it that? I named yeah. it that because I didn't want to say anything, but uh, a mixtape that I'm working on, it's every song is gonna be uh, titled a, a artist's name, yeah. you know, and okay. that song, it, the songs don't have to necessarily talk about that artist. It's just like um, something that's like I want uh, every style of the song or whatever. Or what what made me write that song? And that song to me was Young Thug. So I said yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and name it that. And the next song I'm working on is called, gonna be called Twenty One Savage. So yeah, and I got the inspiration from Young Thug's last album, you know. Uh, my name is Jeffrey. Well, I liked how he named 
and I wasn't trying to steal them or cop them or nothing, but I just thought, hey, that that bring me some little buzz on name, and it's all from the heart. Everything I yeah. spit is from the heart. <laughs> I love that song right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to put on no front or nothing like that. Like everybody that knows me know I don't front nothing. So yeah. I'm just hey. real. Have you did any shows yet? Any nah, venues? man. That's that's what I'm looking uh, for. My my next moves are trying to make a music video and uh -huh. do some shows. You know, some yeah. free shows. Just you know, um, I just been you know lately. I'm all by myself. I don't really have a team. You know, there's people yeah. that I'm associated with. But it's like, and I have anxiety and yeah. stuff like that. And, yeah, I know it. And I just gotta. <laughs> Get out there and you know do it by yeah. myself really, and just hey. do a few songs for some people at a show or anywhere really. I'm yeah, if you're not willing out willing to get out there and push your product, well, how can you expect anybody else to want to listen to? Right. That showed me that you believe in your hustle. Right. You believe in your product. I'm it's independent, so just doing everything by myself really. Uh, yeah. A few Somebody homies out there, like shout that. out to them for, you know, at least listening to my music and, you know. Man, you too humble, man. That's a good thing, and, though, man. And if That's I ever did thing. blow up or someone did want to work with me, or I'd, it's like it would be a dream come true. You yeah. Know? It, it's, just, yeah. it's still a dream, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Some artists I would love to work with, but at a time, like, I just don't like to say stuff like that because I don't like acting like, or make it seem like I'm for a handout or nothing like that. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, but hey. What I really want game, you would be network. awesome. Nope. If a lot of a lot of rappers locally we get together, we need to get cyphers going. We need to get all that. We need to yeah. come together, you know, for a bigger picture and show yeah. everywhere around the world that it's popping over here. But we yeah. don't have the we don't have the the limelight on us right now that we yeah. need to like Atlanta, like I mean, Chicago. We, like I'm so happy for four on the heat yard. Hey, you know, doing something that's. I can't even put words on it because it's awesome. This feeling I have right now, you know. Yeah. A lot of cats think they're gonna make a song today. The truth like you're gonna be on uh, BET tomorrow. And that is just really don't happen like that. It takes a right. lot of work. Yeah. Even those new cats, they, they took a lot of work to get there, you know oh, what I'm yeah. I haven't worked with anyone, honestly, you know, no uh, features, no uh, other people's songs, nothing. Just, you know, like I said, uh, straight aim out and uh, pulled off, you know, I'm affiliated with them. But, no, I haven't really worked with nobody yet, you know, and, yeah. Yeah. and it's yeah. just time will tell, you know. It's not like uh, I haven't been reaching out, really, and I don't want to reach out. I don't want it to be like a mutual type of thing, so. How much you're charging for a feature? Uh, I wouldn't charge. That's what I was saying. Like we should all come together. There shouldn't be no charging and yeah, all that. Uh, I know everybody's I trying to make that. money, but I believe that for a bigger picture, it shouldn't. You know, artists. If you want to rock with him, if you if you say, hey, if you could give me something, I'd appreciate it. But I'm not trying to like yeah. charge you like this. It is a business, though. You know, it yeah. all. Everybody's gonna do their part. You know, it's just it all comes down because I am humble and like I said, like. Everybody that I meet, and if I believe in them, I want to help them make it. You know? What is a recording, uh, a recording session like uh, with you? It's it's a uh, it's not where I pictured. You know, I always <laughs> pictured. You know, in the studio, chilling. You know, like you always see other artists. Those you know, kind of like. Uh, it's cool the place I go. You know, it's real more professional. And oh. He's not like a like we're not friends or nothing, buddy, buddy. He's a cool guy, yeah. but it's like more of a business relationship, hey. you know. And so when we get in there, time is money. So I like to get to work. Not anybody can rap or do the timing and do everything right, you know. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of rappers out there, like you can kind of picture their their bars and all that. But uh, uh, artists that I really look up to, and I don't care what people think of me, is like Young Thug. If anyone listens to how he spits like it, it's crazy you can't pinpoint his flow his style you know it, he changes up so much that's what i love yeah. about it tell everybody you know a track or or beats that you like to get on i love trap you know i, I just love trap music and i love uh I, I like to spit almost what I like to listen to almost sometimes, you know, uh, and me, I'm an artist that I don't want people to box me in and say, oh, he's just a, this type of rapper and stuff like that, you know. I'm just rhyming, doing what I love to do. Huh. Heard you was hating, but boy, you know you fool. 
I'ma go all in, I ain't never throw Hating on me, but I don't know what a few damn They was hating on me cause I spit real Hating on me cause I came from the trail Man, I bet you gon' know my name I'ma say it so damn much You stuck in your damn brain Charlie Raw, 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 uh Going 100 ain't no way to go anything else I'ma do it for me cause there ain't nobody else Gotta get my money, gotta get all that wealth I got a Man, it's like I got so much music that, you know, it, I, it takes money to record, so I wish I could record everything, but I really had to do a song at a time, and, you know, because money and all that, and, you know, uh, man, shout out to my boy, uh, Cody Arpin out there, uh, shout out to homie that's with me right now, Dwayne Ketcherside, shout out to Tyler out there, shout out to everybody in Port Arthur that's trying to come up just like me, you know. Uh, I'm just like y'all, I'm trying to do my best, you know, no matter if I know people probably hate me, whatever, don't like my music, that's cool, because I jam it, you know, and I'm going to keep doing it, you know, and I can't lie about nothing. I'm, and my music, people may not understand it, but if you notice, a lot of my music is subliminal. I'm rapping about, you know, things that, in the, you know, that could happen, not like I didn't kill no one or I'm not doing this, I'm not yeah. doing, you know, what a lot of other rappers talk about. I'm, anything that anybody thinks about me or knows about me, I already know myself, so, yeah. and I'm comfortable and I'm okay with it and I know that, you know, I'm looked at probably a certain way, but one day I will shine and I'm working on it right now, so. Hey, but the only person to stop you is you. Right. And that's real. Right. So, I mean, if it's your dream and chase it, chase that bad boy. Right. Yeah, hit them with those handles so everybody know where they can find you. Oh yeah, uh, Charlie Raw, C H R L I E R A W W, Charlie Raw. Y'all can uh, Google me, y'all can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Reverb Nation, you can find me on SoundCloud, I'm on YouTube. Music videos are coming, you know, more music's coming, you know. Uh, you will hear my name a lot, you know, you, you're gonna hear me no matter if I'm a big artist or not, but you will hear that I'm working. And I like that humbleness, I like yeah, that, yeah, that's it. real, man. Uh, I love 409 The Heat, the hottest, coolest station around. Shots out, my boy Charlie Rock. I had to say it one more time, top dog. Yeah. And we out. <laughs>